This is a short tutorial which is going to show you how to use your YTNA STO results to pinpoint an Irish origin. Now I've spent a lot, a lot of time in academia and there's nothing worse than resources behind the paywall. So all the resources you will need are available from these two websites, irishorigins.com and originsmaps.com. So there's a very simple premise and that's that Irish surnames arose among related males living in a specific location an estimated 1,000 years ago. And since surnames still concentrate in early, date in, in early census data in the area they first appeared, you can examine the distribution of the surnames you see in your YDNA STR results and discover a common location to all. And that will be where your Irish ancestors originated. So, first step, log into your, your YDNA test results, and this is a screenshot from a, one of the most notable YDNA um, testing companies. And you've got to select to view your YDNA STR matches. That's the red arrow here below. Okay, so you're now viewing your matches. Now, what you have to do is identify the surnames of the people that appear among your matches and the point at which they first appear as a DNA match. So in this instance, Bo appears as a DNA match at a genetic distance of three. Now this is probably the most challenging part. So you've got to identify surnames, the point at which they appear, and how many individuals with those surnames appear among your Y-DNA test results. In this instance, I'm counting all the individuals that appear at the 111, 67 and 37 marker levels because those surnames at those levels reflect those that arose among a group of related males in a specific location. And the reason I'm looking for occurring surnames is that they best reflect those that arose among those related males. And in this instance here, you can see that Bo, Carol, Dooley and Flanagan are in bold are the most frequent exclusively Irish surnames and that's why they're highlighted. Okay so you now have your list of Irish surnames and what you first want to do is see where those surnames occur in Irish census data. So you go to the Irish origin surnames database and literally input your surname. So you can take a screenshot of each of those maps, put them together and compare them and in this instance you can see that the Irish Midlands, particularly around County Leash in the uh, red circle here, is emerging as a location common to all. So this is the area that you're going to explore. So next step you want to go to the originsmaps.com and you're going to use the Irish theme maps to explore that area. So first go to the Irish Origins Medieval Surnames of Ireland map and once you've selected the map you can place the cursor over the area of interest and that will magnify that area. Now this is where it gets interesting. So you've magnified the area and the test subject in this instance name was Bo or Bowes and you can see here Bo or Bowes just near the Kilkenny border in County Leash. And what you begin to see then is how all the recurring surnames that you've identified, plus some singular surnames, all localize to this specific area. And the interesting thing is, is that Bo is at the center and the surname surrounded. So these surnames literally arose among related males living in a specific part of Ireland, in this case, County Leash in the Irish Midlands. So you can go back now and you can select the um, clan territories of Ireland map. Now this map was reconstructed based on castle locations and their historically associated clans and families. So when you go and see this um, map in the area you've, you've, you've identified, what you will find is that, or what I have found in my research, is that most Irish males will be related to one or more of the clans or families that dominated their Irish paternal ancestral genetic homeland. So you can see here Bo, who lived on the uh, 
leash Kilkenny border are literally surrounded by clans and families that appear among the Y-DNA test results. So what does all this mean? So you now have an area that you know your paternal ancestral paper trail will lead back to. This is ground zero for your paternal ancestors. And the great thing is in Ireland, there's a lot of information there available in place names, monuments and historical records. So I've just shown you here some of the place names, castles I've identified in this area that all reflect the sore names that appear among my Y-DNA matches. I've been doing this professionally for 10 years and so I've got a lot of experience, but I do suggest you give it a go yourself. If you find yourself lost, you can contact Irish Origins. We never charge for examining DNA test results and there's no obligation to proceed beyond that free uh, consultation. So give it a go. See how you get on. Any problems, you can contact Irish Origins.